process determine the horizontal and vertical component of reactions at the pin A, B, and C of the frame. You can see this is a frame structure. All right. So we want to determine the both horizontal and vertical component. All right. So for us to solve this question, the first thing we are going to do is to split the beam. We are going to split the beam into two beams. That is beam B, C, and beam A, B. So we are going to start with beam B, C first. Beam B, C. All right. So we are going to be drawing the free body diagram of this beam directly. Trust me, you are going to understand it. So I'm going to draw it now. All right. So uh, here is the free body diagram of uh, beam B, C. All right. So you can see the reason why we are having uh, C subscript S here and C subscript Y here. We are having two uh, reactions here because it, there's a, fee, uh, a pin here. There's no movement in X direction. There's no movement in Y direction. All right. So this one is uh, the uh, horizontal movement uh, uh, that is horizontal reaction in the C direction. And this one is the uh, vertical reaction in the Y direction. Uh, vertical uh, reactions. Why this one is horizontal reaction at point C. This one is vertical reaction at point B. Why this one is horizontal reaction at point X, uh, sorry, at point uh, B as well. All right. So this is a uniform distributed load. We are going to convert to point load by multiplying 3 by the total distance it cover, which is 6. So we are going to have 6. Sorry, please. We are going to have 6. We are going to have 6 kilo newton here. And it's going to add at uh, the center. It's going to add at the center of the beam which is going to be one meter to the left and one meter to the right. So here we are going to have one meter here and here we are going to have one meter. I hope we understand. All right, so the next thing we are going to do is to take the summation of forces in the Y direction. Summation of force in Y direction to be equal to zero and we are taking upward force to be positive and downward force to be negative. All right, so here we are going to be having uh, B subscript Y plus C subscript Y to be equals to what? 6. So we can call this equation number 1. All right. So the next thing we are going to do is to take the summation of moment about B. All right. So we are going to say summation of moment at point B will be equals to 0. So uh, this is point B. And don't forget, our upward force here is going to give us what? An anti-clockwise moment. Why our downward force is going to give us a clockwise moment. So it means uh, our anti-clockwise moment is positive, while our clockwise moment is negative. All right. So let's start at point B. This is our upward force here. It's coming in this direction, which is anti-clockwise. So it's going to be what? Uh, uh, and it is positive. So it's going to be CY. C subscript Y multiplied by what? By 2. All right. And here we are having a downward force, which is uh, giving us a clockwise moment, which is what? Negative. So we are going to have C, negative C, multiplied by 1 to be equal to what? 0. So that is what we are going to have. So 6 times 1 is 6. And here we are going to have 2 C subscript Y minus 6 to be equal to 0. So 2C subscript Y will be equals to 6. And if you divide both sides by 2, so C subscript Y will be equals to 3. C subscript Y will be equals to 3 kilo newton. All right. So uh, now we can find we can find B subscript Y. B subscript Y will be equals to 6 minus C subscript uh, Y. That is 6 minus 3. 6 minus 3, which is 3 kilo newton. All right. So uh, we are done with uh, beam BC. So the next thing we are going to do is to draw beam AB. So beam AB. We are also going to be drawing the free body diagram. Beam AB. 
All right. All right. So this is our beam A, B. Let me explain a concept for us here. Now, if you look at beam B, C, at point B here, we have the horizontal and vertical in this direction. So there will be part of this uh, B here, uh, in this point, in this beam A, B as well. You can see, but it's going to be what? Opposite. Because for a magnet to magnetize, uh, it must be opposite and uh, it must be opposite pole, that is the north and the south is going to join together for the magnet to attract or the south and the north pole is going to combine together for the pole to there but if they are of the same uh, pole you see it is it's going to what repair that is just a typical example of what is going here so you can see that we have a b and then we have b c so for b if you chose your horizontal to be like this and your vertical to be upward Reverse will be the case for B, A, B. So beam A, B, you can see for B, S, here is going in this direction and our B, Y is going downward. Please take note of that. Don't make a mistake when you are dealing with uh, this. All right. So now the next thing is to resolve. If you resolve, uh, okay, let me explain this. If you have your right uh, triangle like this, you can see a right angle is, uh, this is just in form of a right angle triangle. You know that this place is going to be our hypotenuse, and we can just call this place to be angle theta or angle alpha, anything. All right, so that's what I'm just trying to do here. So if you resolve in x and y direction, here we are going to have 8 cos theta here, and here we are going to have 8 sine theta. All right, so that is what we are going to have. All right, so the next thing here, let's look for what sine theta is. Sine theta will be equals to sine from soca to our opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over what? Hypotenuse. That is 4 over 5. So let's look at what cos theta is going to be. Cos theta is going to be what? Cos. That is a adjacent over hypotenuse. This is opposite. This is adjacent. Adjacent over hypotenuse. That is 3 over 5. So that is what we are going to have. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to be taking our moment uh, about point A. So moment about point, summation of moment about point A to be equals to zero. So let's take uh, anti-clockwise moment to be what? Positive. All right. So now, uh, this is point A. So we are going to start with, uh, here we have our force here, which is going downward so it's uh, as we're saying downward force is negative upward force is what positive so here we are going to have our downward force which is eight multiplied by the distance we cover there so it's going to be negative eight multiplied by two all right so what other thing do we have we have our point by here and it is downward so it's going to be by multiplied by the distance the distance it cover is what is two it is 2. So it's going to be by. And don't forget, we have gotten by. Our by is what? 3. So because it is downward, it's still going to be minus by. But we have gotten by the other time, which is 3. It's going to be 3 times 2. So again, we have bs. So we are going to have bs. bs is what? Upward. If you view if you view this, uh, this thing in this direction, it's in form of what? Upward. Or you can take it like this. Since here is in this direction and uh, which is bs here okay we do not consider horizontal force here okay so uh we are taking this horizontal force here to be positive please take note of that or you can consider it to be what upward if you view it in this uh manner all right so we are going to have plus plus bs then the distance is going to cover is what 1.5 if you look at it all right, so it's going to be multiplied by 1.5. Everything will be equals to what? Zero. All right, so if we do this, we are going to have negative 16, then negative 6, then plus uh, B subscript S, 1.5 B subscript S equals to zero. All right, so negative 16 minus 6, that is a negative 24. We take it to the other side. We are going to have 1.5 B subscript S equals to 24. No, is it 24 or 22? 
for put for here that is two so it's going to be 22 all right so we are going to divide both sides by 1.5 1.5 1.5 so b subscript s is uh, the reaction uh, that is uh, horizontal uh, force at uh, point b is going to be 22 divided by 1.5 which is nothing but what which is nothing but uh, 14.67 so we are going to have 14.67 kilo newton all right so that's it so i'm going to clean this side. it is uh, good for us to find uh, c subscript s as well uh, from a uh, b uh, from being bc you can find uh, b subscript s. you can see if you consider the horizontal force uh, some of horizontal force in uh, beam BC, you can see this is going in this direction. Why this is going in this direction? You can so you can take any of uh, the beam to be, uh, let's say, sum of force horizontal force to be equals to zero. So let's take this to be positive. So if we are taking this to be positive, it means the one in this direction will be what negative. So and the horizontal force that we have here is B S and uh, this. So we are going to have BS minus because it is going against this law. So it's going to be equals to zero. And our BS we've gotten to be what 14.67 minus minus C subscript S will be equals to zero. So we can therefore if we take CS to the other side and conclude that C subscript S is also 14.67 kilo newton. All right. So uh, we cannot go back to this uh, beam now. So the next thing we are going to consider here uh, for this uh, case, we are going to consider some of uh, upward forces. All right. So uh, for beam AB, let's take some of upward force, some of upward force to be equals to zero. So let's take this to be positive and this to be what negative. All right. So if we do that. Uh, our upward force here we have a subscript y to be positive and uh, we are going to have uh, another uh, upward force here that we are going to have it 8 sine uh, 8 sine theta here because this one too is coming down like this and then this one is going like this all right so we are going to have this this here and then we are also going to have a uh, uh, by2 all right so we're going to have one two and three all right so uh the upward one a y is going to be positive okay and then uh, plus uh because sine eight sine theta two is also going down so it's going to be uh sorry because it's going down it's going to be negative not positive it's going to be minus eight sine eight sine theta eight sine theta I also have another downward force there, which is uh, going to be by, but our by uh, we have gotten it to be what three, so it's going to be minus three equals to what zero. I hope we understand this. We have uh, three vertical forces there: a y, eight sine theta, and by. All right. So now uh, we already know that our sine theta, sine theta is what four over five. So here we are going to have our a y. My, to be 8 into 4 over 5 minus 3 equals to what? 0. It equals to, if we move everything to this other side, it's going to be 3 plus 8 into 4 over 5. All right. So AY now will be equals to 3 plus, uh, plus if you write, if you multiply 8 multiplied by 4 divided by 5, you are going to have 6.4. So we are going to have 6.4. So if you sum this, 3 plus uh, 6.4, we are going to have 9.4. So we are going to have 9.4 kilo newton for our AY. All right. So uh, the last but not the least, we are going to consider the summation of force in the S, in the horizontal direction for being AB. So uh, probably I'm going to be clearing this side as well so you can just quickly take the screenshot consider the uh, 
last uh, part. So we are going to consider summation of the horizontal forces now for beam AB. So we are going to say summation of horizontal force should be equals to zero and we are taking this to be what? Positive. So it means you are going against it will be what? Negative. So how many uh, horizontal force do we have? We have one, we have two, and then we have three. So and uh, we have already said the one in this direction should be positive. So it means we are going to have a subscript S plus eight cos eight cos theta, then minus what? Minus B subscript S. But B subscript S is uh, we've already calculated B subscript S, which is 14.67. So let's just write 14.67 to be equals to what? Zero. All right. So uh, here we are going to have a subscript s plus 8 into what is cos theta. Cos theta is 3 over 5 minus 14.67 equals to what? 0. All right. So uh, 8 multiplied by 3, that is 24. 24 divided by 5, uh, that is uh, 4.8. So 4.8. So we are going to have a subscript s plus 4.8 minus 14.67 to be equals to zero. All right. So uh, if we subtract this from this, we are going to have negative 9.87. So we are going to have negative 9.87 equals to zero. So it means a subscript s is going to be 9.87. Kilo Newton. So uh, here is the solution to the above question. So if this is your first time of coming across our content, uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Uh, you can drop your comments if there's anywhere that uh, you still need more clarification. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to also hit the bell notification bell. So anytime we upload content like this, you'll be the first to see it. And don't forget to also share our content with your friends who might be in need of it. And uh, you can also join our membership program for you to access more premium content like this. Thanks. And stay tuned for more important topics in engineering.